you want Natasha Defano, here's another quick provocation for actors and creatives to think about. This is number 11, Journey. Einstein oh, it's upside down. Einstein said, the reason for time is so that everything doesn't happen all at once. A scene needs time to unfold, and during that time, a change happens, so that the start and end are different from each other. In poetry, they call this the volta, which is the fulcrum, the swerve, the sudden change in direction, the turn that introduces the possibility for transformation. You are both the actor and the character. The actor has read the script, but the character hasn't. The character lives in present time. Sometimes the actor's knowledge gets in the way of the character's life. So here's the challenge. Take the monologue that you learned from the Instasite Humans of New York in tip number eight and ask yourself this question. What if the story ended in a different way? Number one, how does the story end? Number two, what is the completely opposite ending? Let that flower in your mind. And number three, now play to the expectation that the story will end in that alternative reality. What if Romeo and Juliet both lived? I like to apply the thought experiment Schrodinger's cat to a scene. Physicist Erwin Schrodinger said that if you place a cat and something that could kill that cat in a closed box, you won't know if the cat is dead or alive until you open the box. So, until you open the box, the cat is both dead and alive at the same time. Let every fluid quantum state in every scene have that same quality of unknowingness. And here's a joke for you. A woman goes into the library and asks for a book about Pavlov's dog and Schrodinger's cat. The librarian says, hmm, it rings a bell, but I don't know whether it's there or not. See you next time.